So you do not need a helmet in Mexico on a motorcycle. Uh, but you do need a man bun. Which is exactly why he's not wearing a helmet. Because he has a man bun. I bet they make more fun of him than they do me with my ponytail lady. Let me just... Look. This is the way to San Felipe. Are you going to San Felipe? Yep. Man, that old drunken Mexican the other night he kept asking me, you know that song? He had a big open sore on his nose. Someone punched him out. He was about 70 years old. Really cool guy. You know that song, senor? Are you going to San Francisco? He knew all these... Here comes another guy on a bike with no helmet. This guy knew all these songs. Do you know that song, senor? Are you going to San Francisco? He was so cool. He was with that guy that my dog attacked his puppy. Those three guys were so shit-faced drunk. One guy was sitting there making those beautiful yellow colored roses out of old corn husks. Not husk, you know that part you tear off of the corn? I think it's called the, the husk. And he was sitting there drunk off his ass making one after another. They were beautiful. He was making something that you could sell for money from garbage. And that's what these people are so good at. They know how to make beautiful things out of nothing. I guess. Bombero Cincinnati. It's the fire department. Oh, he's the inspector. And you notice he doesn't have a license plate on his car. Who cares? What's a license plate? The fire inspector doesn't even have a license plate. <laughs> I think it's a dial 911 on the bumper, but the car doesn't even have a license plate. It's my turn. There. Just forced some Mexican into submission. That's the way it is down here, though. You do not put on the brakes. You floor it. Otherwise, you get left behind. It's kind of like move your feet, lose your seat. You go to one of these, they have huge traffic circles down here, big ones. And if you find yourself in one of those places and you put on the brakes, oh boy. You just go. Yeah, I mean, that's a pal. I seen him on the block behind the store there. Some other cars. Must have caught some guys stealing booze. Oh, there's another car with no license plate. And if I look around, there's probably five more of them sitting here right where I'm at. 
Who knows where that car came from or who it belongs to, but nobody cares. It's true, too, this guy told me. They're called Baja cars. A lot of times people from Canada move down here and it costs a lot of money to import a car into Mexico legally. And there are times when people just leave their cars behind. Or you end up with a, you know, a car with an American title. There's no way to do anything with it. It costs a few thousand dollars to import the car legally. And so, people just take the license plates off and drive it around. And this guy told me they're called Baja cars. And if you get caught driving one, nothing happens. The cops don't even care. But if you get caught driving one with no license, driver's license, then they take it away from you. But there's one right there in front of us. That car cost a lot of money when it was new 20 years ago. This place is so amazing. And it really is. I mean, you know, most Americans would be horrified, scared to death. But if you just kick back and blend in, be like a Mexican, it's amazing. I just went to a place, like I said earlier, uh, one of these like portable restaurants on a street corner. I saw them setting it up this morning from my hotel. You know, these plastic chairs that break when you sit down on them. And uh, man, they were the nicest people making the most amazing food you ever ate in your life. And here's these pigeons. They're not only in the area where you eat, they're walking around right behind the ladies making the food. They're part of the restaurant. Look at these things right here. A Talajet 150. They're made in China. You can buy a brand new one for $750. I look. I think that's the one I was looking at earlier. The guy was showing it to somebody down the street. $750. My friend in Mazatlan, this guy I've known since I was six years old. I talked to him on the phone the other day. And he was at the dealership buying one of those. But he said... Somebody told him not to buy the 150, to buy a 125 because they were better. So anyway, that Italajet 150 back there, they're $750 brand new. But it's actually a $35 motorcycle. Signing off.